welcome to Talk Comics. We're here today with Rufus Daglow, um, artist for Tank Girl. Um, hi Rufus, how are you doing? Hi, very good indeed. Thanks for having me on. Ah, oh, our pleasure. Um, tell us a little bit what you're about what you're up to at the moment. Okay, uh, well we've, we've just finished off um, our latest Tank Girl miniseries, um, Bad Wind Rising, um, which is a four-issue miniseries. And uh, I've uh, just now started work with um, Ashley Wood um, for 3A, um, his company, which is a, it's a toy and uh, publishing company. And I'm going to be working with them designing the 2008 toys. So we'll be doing all, the, all of the Judge Dredd, um, ABC Warriors, Rogue Trooper, Strong Team Dog, and turning them into 1-6 scale toys, which are um, you know, like a foot tall. And uh, it's my arduous job to uh, come up with the designs and make sure that they look like um, my favorite artist's work. So it's a, it's a bit of a dream job come true. And uh, as well as that, I'm also working on my own series called um, Solid Gold Death Mask, um, which I'll be publishing through 3A. And um, hopefully we'll do lots of uh, nice shiny toys with that as well, and t-shirts and stuff. Because uh, one of the frustrating things I got working on Tank Girl is the fact that we haven't been able to do merchandising up until now, because uh, all of the rights were sold years ago to MGM. So um, by doing my own series, I can finally um, make some uh, lovely shiny toys. <laughs> um, are we going to see uh, more of Tank Girl coming from you? Um, I, would, I would very much like to um, draw some more Tank Girl. It, it depends what um, Alan wants to do. Um, he's the writer and creator of it. Uh, what's going to be happening next with Tank Girl is uh, Mick McMahon, my absolute hero, who um, uh, drew Judge Dredd for a long time. Uh, he started work uh, a number of years ago on a Tank Girl miniseries, and it's finally got done because he had a number of work other, uh, other obligations. And uh, he's uh, done this fantastic, um, I think it's going to be a six-issue um, miniseries, or they might do it as three sort of smaller self-contained books. Uh, but he's done this, uh, this Tank Girl miniseries with Alan called Karaoke, which will be out in September. And um, it's completely different from, from what Jamie and I have done, but it's, uh, it's fantastic. And I, I really hope the fans like it, because uh, both Jamie and I are massive fans of his. Um, after that, Alan is working on uh, some other projects. I believe he's, he might be working, well, a couple of them are secret, so I probably shouldn't say, because <laughs> <laughs> lightning shall strike me down. But he, he, he's got a couple of other things that he wants to, to do in the meantime. So it, it was an ideal time for me to go off and, and do something myself. Um, and like, like I said, I've had no, a number of other opportunities come up. So um, yeah, it's, it's a n nice to have a bit, a bit of a change. Are you still going to be working with IDW um, in the future? Um, I certainly hope so. I mean, I loved working with IDW. They were, they were great people to work with. Um, you know, like I said, I worked with IDW um, on Tank Girl. We did a, a mini series called Snaked, which was a horror comic. Um, and I also worked with um, Ashley on Metal Gear Solid, uh, which was a lot of fun. And also, he did a book called Doomed, which was which was a horror anthology. And we did some stuff with that. So um, both Ashley and I might might do some other stuff with IDW. I'll be out in San Diego at the end of July, so hopefully I'll be able to talk to them about some stuff. Um, obviously, I'm not, I really like the fact that they, they even have a lot of licensed bits and pieces, and uh, you know they've been doing a lot of G.I. Joe books over the years, and uh, I'm a huge Larry Hama fan, so at some stage or another, I, I would love to work on something that Larry Hama wrote, because uh, I, I, you know, I loved his writing as a kid. I loved the Marvel G.I. Joe series, and uh, uh, I, I met him at New York Comic Convention and just crumbled in front of him and stood there <laughs> at gibbering rank. <laughs> So uh, now that you've, um, sounds like you're going to be making or designing some of the toys for 2000 AD. Yeah. Um, with a with a new company in uh, abroad. What well, this is Ashley Wood's company. His uh, his uh, uh, company is, is based in China. They're called 3A, and uh, they've been making all the Popbot toys, uh, and uh, which is all Ashley Wood's kind of world of robots and uh, and assassins. And uh, he got the license from Rebellion, who owned 2000 AD, to uh, to make toys, and it couldn't be better because Ashley is. As, as huge a 2080 fan as I am and between the two of us I think we're probably the two geekiest boys in the world and so we want to make the toys that we wanted when we were kids um, because up until now most of the 2080 toys have been pretty disappointing because they've been made by companies who wanted to make a profit and not a good toy whereas Ashley's prime directive in, in making toys is, is making a good toy he doesn't care if he makes money on them because he just wants to make a the, the best toy that he can. Would you say that it's kind of like you're living a, a bit of a dream, really? Oh yeah, I, th I, th I think things that you found iconic, you're now getting a chance to. Absolutely, make. I think both of us are. Like, uh, th th this is like our love letter to 2008. This is the th this is like our, our adult love letter to the comic that we loved as a kid. So, both of us are trying to create something as a not only as a homage to what we loved, but also hopefully something that the fans will see and go, "Oh my God, that's something I want to own." Because uh, there's nothing more disappointing than you, you know when you when you hear your favorite comic is going to be made into a new piece of merchandise and you go oh fantastic and then you see it and you, and you don't want to buy it right. um, because you know I, I love collecting toys and I, I love junk so uh, you know I, I want I want cool junk and there's nothing that upsets me more than, than companies that, that rip you off and just try and make a profit off of the name whereas uh, 3A have gone out of their way to make things that are that are very much handmade you know uh, they, they have artisans there who paint everything by hand make all of the clothing by hand 
um, it's, a, it's a real sort of uh, labour of love. Wow. Okay, that's great. Well, we look forward to seeing some pictures maybe in the future of uh, what, what might come out. Thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and sneak some stuff out. Oh, that'll be great. Um, what about um, your own creator own comic? Because you, you said that you're now going to make yeah, something yourself. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Okay. Well, um, I, I've been toying with this idea for a couple of years because uh, I, I've loved working on Tank Girl and again, working in collaboration with someone is fantastic. But um, I've always wanted to kind of do a bit more writing and stuff myself and also just have, have the sort of free form ability to just kind of mutate it into whatever I want. So uh, I'd, I'd come up with a couple of characters um, a few years ago that I've, I've been sort of playing around with, and originally the, these two characters were kind of unrelated, and then I, I kind of decided to make them siblings, and um, basically it's about two girls who are fighting over the, the, the death, death mask of their mother, who's a, a dead god. Wow. And uh, so it's, uh, it's a fairly freeform storyline, but it, it's just basically to give it a, a plot springboard to have an excuse to have a story about two very dysfunctional girls who um, have serious attitude problems. <laughs> so it's kind of like Tank Girl times two with swords <laughs> and, and, uh, and a monkey giving them bad advice. So, <laughs> okay. um, yeah, it's kind of like a, 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 a Disney film that, that was rejected a long time ago for, for, for being too fucked up. So. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, again, we look forward to seeing that as well. That, that uh, Hopefully in the future we'll be able to get a couple of sneak peek shots of what Absolutely, yeah. Great. I'll certainly send you some stuff. That's brilliant. 